Hey, it's Greg Torres. I'm out here in Chautauqua County, New York. This is actually my home county where I'm from. And I'm out here for the holidays, just kind of hiking around, checking things out. Back behind me is the Chautauqua Gorge, but I saw this little creek and I wanted to kind of explore it a little. It's quite beautiful. There's a lot of uh, ice features and beautiful running water. It's just a beautiful place, really. If you ever get a chance to come up this way, you should. It's right on Lake Erie. Anyway, I'm here to talk about this plant right here. This is Christmas fern. I kind of saw one of the fronds sticking out above the snow and dug it out and I wanted to take a good look at it. Now that I'm looking at it, I thought it'd make an interesting video. So here we have the Christmas fern and as you can see a lot of things that refer to Christmas are evergreen and this one's evergreen. It stays out throughout the winter and it doesn't really fade away although it does get buried <laughs> with quite a bit of snow here in, in western New York. What we have though is what we're looking at, uh, two different kind of fronds. We've got this normal looking frond, and you can look at all the way at the tip here. Kind of just comes down like a normal frond. However, these ones, these are called fertile fronds, and these are a little bit different. You can see at the end, the tip is dead, or brown, and even more than that, the tips are shaped differently than the further back uh, leaflets here. The reason for that is if you flip it over, what you'll find on the fertile fronds are the sori, the sore the spore producing parts of the plant, the reproductive parts of the plant. So this plant produces two different kinds of fronds, just normal fronds and then fertile fronds. Now with fertile fronds, what they do is they stay erect like this and the spores, because they're windborne, they catch the wind and can kind of blow away from the plant. Now, this plant is also called Christmas fern because of the little leaflet shape here. It's kind of shaped like a stocking in a way. So that's just another way to kind of a cute way to ID it. What you'll find is that it's going to be difficult to see right now, but the fiddleheads right now, they're already set and they're tightly curled at the base of the plant. And they're kind of hairy with these little leafy scales all covering it. They'll kind of unfurl in the springtime and those leaflets or the fronds will stay erect all through the spring, the summer, and even into the fall. The autumn leaves starts to fall and they gather up around the base of the plant like this here. And once the first frost hits, that's an interesting quality about this plant, the first frost makes the fronds relax. And when it does that, it pins down all this leaf litter around the base of the plant. Now it's an ingenious way to kind of trap this humus rich uh, organic material at the base of the plant. And as most people know, ferns like moist humus rich soil. So in a way it's kind of building its own ecosystem. Additionally, this plant has been used more recently to secure hillsides because of this aspect. It actually will trap leaf litter and, and pin it down and build the soil over time. It will form colonies also, not, I would say more like clumps. It won't stretch out like ostrich fern and, and show up somewhere else, but it will form little clumps that in your garden, if you'd like, you can divide apart pretty easily and spread them out. So again, this is Christmas fern, uh, Polysticum acrostichoides, and it's our only Polysticum genus of fern in the eastern United States here. So if you get a chance to go out, especially in the wintertime, it's pretty obvious to be able to see because it's one of the only things green.